The Somali language is the official language of Somalia. It is a member of the Cushitic branch of the Afroasiatic language family, and its nearest relatives are the Afar and Saho languages. Somali is the best documented of the Cushitic languages, with academic studies of it dating from before 1900. Somali dialects are divided into three main groups, Northern, Banadir and Mai. Northern Somali or Northern Central Somali forms the basis for Standard Somali. Benadir, also known as Coastal Somali, is spoken on the Benadir coast from Adale to south of Merka, including Mogadishu, as well as in the immediately heighted land. The coastal dialects have additional phonemes which don't exist in Standard Somali. Mai is principally spoken by the Digil Abirifle, Rahanwein clans in the southern areas of Somalia. Since Somali had long lost in accent script, a number of writing systems have been used over the years for transcribing the language. Of these, the Somali alphabet is the most widely used and has been the official writing script in Somalia since the government of former president of Somalia, Siad Borre, formally introduced it in October of 1972. The script was developed by a number of leading scholars of Somali, including Musa Hali Ismail, Galal, B.W. Ather Thegebski and Shain Yama Ahmed specifically for transcribing the Somali language and uses all letters of the English Latin alphabet stepped P, V and Z. Besides Ahmed's Latin scripts, other orthographies that had been used for centuries for Britain Somali include the long established Arabic script and what acts written. Indigenous writing systems developed in the 20th century include the Osmania, Borama and Kalare scripts. We were invented by Osman Yusuf Kenadid, Sheikh Abdurrahman Sheikh Noor and Hussein Sheikh Ahmed Kadare respectively. In addition to Somali, Arabic is an official national language of Somalia. Many Somalis speak it due to centuries old ties with the Arab world. The far-reaching influence of the Arabic media and religious education. English is also widely used and taught. Italian used it to be a major language, but its influence significantly diminishes following independence. It is now most frequently heard among older generations who were in contact with the Italians at that time or later as migrants into Italy. Other minority languages include Brabenese, a variant of the Bantu Shahili language that is spoken along the coast by the Brabanese people. The clan groupings of the Somali people are important social units, and clan membership plays a central part in Somali culture and politics. Clans are patrilineal and are divided into subclans and sub subclans resulting in entered families. Major Somali clans Ishaq, Darok, Bir, Hawiye, 
raha wing Dijil ambirifle minoritary clans jare wayne ambarwani were not dresses in western size clothing such as jeans and t-shirts Somali men traditionally were the Makawis Maawis with a sarong like garment worn around the waist and a large cloth wrapped around the upper part of their body on their heads they often wrap a color colorful turban or wear the kofiyat and embroidered taji taqiya due to somalia's proximity to and close ties with the muslim world many somali men also wear the tawaf kahamilis in somali a long white garment common among muslims traditionally somali attire for men consider days of two seats often plain white wine draped over the shoulder and the other tight around the waist the sheet sometimes had embroidery patterns or lace borders this attire is no longer common thought it can be found in some rural communities during regular day to day activities women usually wear the guntino a long stretch of cloth tied tied over the shoulder and wrapped around the waist the gutino is traditionally made out of plain white fabric sometimes featured in with decorative borders a thought nowadays alindi a textile common in the hor region and some part of north africa is more frequently used the garment can be worn in many different styles and with different fabrics for more formal settings such as weddings and religious celebrations like Eid women wear the didak a long light diaphanous voil dress made of cotton or polyester fabric it is worn over a full legs half a sleeve and a brassiere known as the gorgorat the underskirt is made out of silk and serves as a key part of the overall outfit the dirac is usually sparkly and very colorful the most popular styles being those with gilded borders or threads the fabric is typically acquired from somali clothing stores in tandem with the gorgora in more informal settings like being at home somali women typically wear baati a baati is a long dress like wear that is made out of comfortable polyester married women tend to sport head scarves reserved to a shash and also often cover their upper body with a shawl known as garba sar a garba sar can be worn by any women regardless of their martial status in general however somali women cover up with hijab when outside their home or in the presence of men outside of the immediate family cousins uncles friends Additionally Somali women have a long tradition of wearing gold and silver jewelry particularly bangles during weddings the bride is frequently adorned in gold many Somali women by tradition also wear gold necklaces and aknles the hirsi as islamic necklace
likewise done in Ethiopia and Yemen is frequently frequently worn. Somali art is an artistic culture of the Somali people, both historic and contemporary. These include artistic traditions in pottery, music, architecture, wood carving and other genders. Somali art is characterized by its aniconims, but partly as a result of the vertiginal influence of the Islamic mythology of the Somalis coupled with their ubiquitous Muslim beliefs. However, there have been instances in the past of artists, artistic depictions representing living creatures such as the golden birds on the Bogadishan Conopies, the camels and the horses on the Astin's rock painting in the northern Somalia, and the plant decoration on re religious tombs in southern Somalia. But these are considered rare, instead, intricate patterns and geometric designs, bold colors and monumental architecture were the norm. Additionally, henna is an important part of Somali culture. It is borne by Somali women on their hands, arm, arms, feet and neck during weddings, Eid, Ramadan and other festive occasions. Somali henna designs are similar to other Horn of Africans often featuring flower motifs and triangular shapes. The palm is also frequently decorated with a dot of henna, and the fingertips are dipped in the dye. Henna parties are usually held before the wedding ceremony takes place. Somalis warmly greet each other with handshakes, but Shaking hand with the opposite sex is avoided by many. Common verbal greeting include Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, Malin wana san, good day, good morning, Galap wana san, good afternoon, Haben wana san, good night, Iksa waran. And Li Waran, how are you? Nabat, I am fine, or literally translated, it means peace. Somalis use a sweeping hand and arm yesterday to dramatize speech. Many ideas are expressed through a specific hand histories. Most of these gestures are performed by women. And sweet tweaks of the open hand means nothing or no. Snappy fingers may mean long ago or and so on. A thumb under the chin indicates fullness. It is impolite to point the sole of one's foot or shoe at another person. It is impolite to use the index finger to call somebody. That gesture is used for calling ducks. During the Siad Barre er era, a new greeting intended to command the prevalence of clanims was introduced called Jale, which in Somali has dual meanings, including the color yellow and comrade or friend. Somali scholars have for centuries produced many notable samples of Islamic literature, ranging from poetry to hadith. With the adoption of the Latin alphabet in 1972 to transcribe the Somali language, numerous contemporary Somali authors 
have also released novels, some of which have gone on to receive worldwide acclaim. Of these modern writers, Nuruddin Farah is probably the most celebrated. Books such as uh, From a Crooked Rip and Links are considered important literary achievements, works which have earned Farah among other accolades. The 1988 Neustadt International Prize for Literature. Farah Mohammed Yama Awal is another prominent summer writer who is perhaps best known for his Darwish era novel. Ignorance is the enemy of love. Mohammed Ibrahim Warsam is considered by many to be the greatest living Somali poet on several of his works has been translated internationally. Football or soccer is the most popular sport in Somalia. Important domestic competitions are the Somali League and Somali Cup with the Somali national football team playing internationally. Basketball is also played in the country. The FIBA Africa Championship 1981 was hosted in Mogadishu from December 50 to December 23, 1981, during with the national basketball team the FIBA the bronze medal. Abdi Bile was the first athlete from Somalia to win a gold medal at the IAAF World Championships in Athletics when he became 1,500 meter champion at the 1987 World Championships. Mofara has also won the three World Championship goals and two Olympic goals at the 2012 London Olympics in the 5,000 and 3,000 meters. In the martial arts, Faisal Jailani Awais and Mohammed Abdullah took home a silver medal and fourth place, respectively, at the 2013 Open World Taekwondo Challenge Cup in Tongeren. The Somali National Olympic Committee has visited a special support program to ensure continuous success in the future tournaments. Additionally, Mohamed Jama has won both war and European titles in Ka 1 anti-boxing.